What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Lesser Athletes. My name is Chad Will, and today, like always, an interesting video for you here on the channel. Today is my injury predictions for the Men's Royal Rumble. This one's going to be interesting because, of course, with an injury prediction, it's not going to be 100% exact and not going to be 100% perfect. There is some things that I think could happen, and I'm kind of hot take-ish. There's also some things that I think won't happen some things are a little off but i want to talk about it and i want to do it a certain way we'll, we'll get through it we'll get through it but royal rumble season is almost upon us i mean you look at february about to be november four-ish months away so it's coming it's coming and i'm excited for it i mean this is one of my favorite times of the year and i think royal rumble season's really the I mean January is probably the beginning of to WrestleMania, but Royal Rumble is definitely the one that excels it all. So we're gonna talk about it, and let's just get started. First off, let's talk about the matches already on the card. Cody Rose versus Jacob Fatu is on this card. Feel good with that prediction. Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley, iffy iffy on that. I feel like that could happen at Saturday night's main event, and that's where that happens. Next, we have Tiffany Strand versus Nia Jax. Another interesting one that I think does happen or it's at Saturday night main event. I feel better seeing Tiffany Strand versus Nia Jax happen on this card than Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley. So, let's just get started with that in our minds. This is the men's today. Jacob Fatu and Cody Rhodes obviously not in there. So, let's get started with entrant number one, Finn Balor. And the reason why I have Finn Bauer is because we're going to look at intern number two, Damian Priest. I think what we saw last year of Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso, we see something happen again. I'm expecting maybe Finn Balor to get a win on Damian Priest coming up, maybe in a PLE coming up here soon. Maybe it's actually at Royal Rumble they have their match. And I'm expecting that Finn is kind of hiding away from Damian, not trying to go against Damian. This is the way we get them to really intertwine. This is the way we get them to look at each other to set us up for a final match at WrestleMania. That is my thought process. That is probably what's going to happen. I could probably see them going against each other again in probably Survivor Series. But we will see. Because I think that that's a huge, and I mean huge, matchup that could end as WrestleMania. But I don't know. I'd be so interested, to, so interested to see if they would actually do them one and two. So now we're going to look at intro number three, Carmella Hayes. And there's a reason why Carmella Hayes is here so early. Um, one, I feel like it would be good for him in the ring. But again, storyline. So another thing that we have in here is that we're going to say people in the ring. We're going to show who's all in the ring when this is happening. So right now, Finn Bauer, Damian, and Carmella Hayes. Entrant number four, we have Grayson Waller, who last year I think was three. This is four, so another early entrant. Grayson Waller's here. You'll see why in a second. So now we only have people in the ring. You're going to see when stuff happens above me. Um, right now, nothing's happening. Nothing is going on. Entrant number five, Kofi Kingston. This would be a – let me say this. This kind of picking who's going to be in this Royal Rumble was extremely hard. Extremely hard. I have interesting scenarios that could happen. For example, maybe Ludwig Kaiser, not in here, even though I think he probably will be. Ludwig Kaiser maybe says, you know, Gunther's like, why do you need to be in the Royal Rumble? I don't want you going after a championship. You're supposed to stick with me. So maybe that's something that makes him not do it. Kofi Kingston here at number five. Always have to have Kofi in here for a Royal Rumble. So now we're at five in the ring. And this is where we start getting interesting. At number six, we have Trick Williams, our first surprise of the match. Trick Williams is an interesting one. I think there's no chance that he doesn't go into this Royal Rumble. Super hot. Both ways. Pause. People love him. The theme of his music hitting a Royal Rumble would be crazy. I mean... Whoop that trick screaming. This is how you start showing a little bit of an NXT. And the reason why we have Trick Williams this early is because I'm expecting if these six are in the ring, that trick goes for Car Carmelo and Carmelo is out. I'm expecting Trick Williams to whoop that trick Carmelo out, potentially setting up something for the future um, with them to maybe 
rehashing what they had. I know that there was rumors of them maybe wanting to have this feud entering um, really this big scene later on in uh, when they go to the main roster. I don't know if that 100% happens, but we want the storyline to grow. So right now, Carmelo is out. Up next, we have Seth Rollins. Now, Seth Rollins is an interesting one. I could see a match where it's Gunther and Seth Rollins maybe at Royal Rumble. I could see that. I could see Seth Rollins just being against someone at Royal Rumble. Maybe it's the end of the Bronson Reed era. I'm 50-50 on it. But with Seth Rollins here, we pull up an interesting thought. If these are the people in the ring... Finn is pissed. You have to you have to think. Finn it was mad at Seth Rollins, lost to Seth Rollins, and I think he still would be mad. And because of this, we see Damian Priest take advantage and take out Finn Balor. I think that's going to be the biggest thing here is that I think this is going to happen. And I want to say that with him leaving and with him getting out, we'll definitely set up a Damian Priest and Finn for the future. Um but I want to see what they do. What is the ultimate goal for that? Up next at number eight, we have Austin Theory. Nothing happening. Six people in the ring. At number nine, we have Braun Strowman. Now, this is where things get interesting. Braun Strowman in the ring. Monsters of all monsters are now in the ring. Obviously, he's going to get somebody. I'm expecting that if this happens, Theory and Waller will try and get him out. They'll try and push all their strength, try and get him out. Theory's going to accidentally take out Waller because if this... Austin Theory, Grayson Waller thing hasn't happened yet. It's probably not going to happen for a little bit. And I think it's going to probably start happening towards WrestleMania. So then they can make this a huge feud for WrestleMania. I'm guessing Theory accidentally takes out Waller. And then Braun Strowman takes out Theory. And then we're going to start settling in the seeds for a WrestleMania kind of match for them. Up next though. Oh, I got to take him out if you guys realize. Oopsie, oopsie. Up next, we have CM Punk. Reason why we have CM Punk, there's going to be a stare down, obviously, with him and Seth. I mean, obviously, if Seth and Punk are in here, there has to be a moment for those two to look at each other, to really get in between, to really have that moment to kind of express how this is a main feud. This is a feud that we are going to push for the future, and I think that is obviously what a lot of people expect and a lot of people think is going to happen. Then we have Drew McIntyre. I want CM Punk to be an intern in this Royal Rumble. Then Drew McIntyre's music hits immediately after the two minutes. And now it's CM Punk, Drew, and Seth. And that is the reason. I would be interested to see if they go the route of a triple threat going into WrestleMania. Or is it CM Punk? Is it CM Punk and Seth instead? And that's the actual feud. I don't know, truthfully. I think it's rather probably Seth, Punk, and Drew, but today, or Seth and Punk, but for today, um, that is where we're going. We're going Seth and Punk, because you'll see what happens later on. That leads to something crazy. Up next is number 12, we have Sheamus. Nothing happening yet. A lot of people in the ring, though, I do have to admit, I could see some. The only thing that I have to say that I did really bad on was the amount of people in the ring. People are entering the ring, el eliminating people immediately, or... A lot of people in the ring. But when you look at Royal Rumbles, at times there is nine people in the ring. There's eight people in the ring. There's ten in the ring. Um, we'll have to see because right now I think that's the only thing that's pretty bad about this prediction. Um, here's the thing. For this one, I'm guessing that Trick and Punk make an alliance. Maybe it's with the uh, NXT ref. Maybe it's... Something like that, that they become friends. Trick and Punk have that happy moment. And then Drew is the one to take out Trick Williams, solidifying himself as a hard heel, taking out a fan favorite. Maybe this leads to Drew and Trick for something else in the future. Don't think that will happen, but still think that that will be a good elimination in the end of the day. Up next, though, we have Xavier Woods entering at number 13. I don't think there's anything that happens for this one. Not anything big. Xavier Woods still teetering on being a heel or not. Then we have Jimmy Uso. This is when I think you start seeing that the bloodline is also a factor that we have to consider in here. Um, at number 14, though, we have nothing happens. And then number 15, L.A. Knight. Now, here's the thing. If L.A. Knight is here, I'm automatically thinking that there's some people that you could set up some great feuds for the U.S. title here. But... In my opinion, this is why I think LA Knight happens. 
I think Xavier and Kofi, Xavier and Kofi try and go after LA Knight, Xavier especially. Kofi doesn't want him to take out LA Knight because they have bigger problems that they think, like a Drew, for example. And instead, LA Knight takes out Xavier because they were in the middle of a dis- disagreement and Xavier's obviously open. I think that could lead to, again, another Xavier heel turn that probably doesn't turn into a heel turn. Um, but that is the thing that we're setting up in this scenario. So bye-bye, Xavier Woods. Up next, we have Dominic Mysterio. Obviously, you know, even that JD McDonough is not here, I it's hard to say JD won't be here, actually. Let me say that first. But Dominic Mysterio is going to be the star of the Judgment Day here because I am expecting that Dominic Mysterio takes out Damian Priest. There has to be one big win off of uh, Dominic Mysterio and one big elimination for Dominic Mysterio. I'm going to guess that's Damian Priest to really set up that Judgment Day hate. Um, maybe it's the help with Finn Bauer. Maybe it's Braun Strowman even. But I'm going to say Dominic Mysterio gets a big, big elimination. Bye-bye, Damian Priest. Up next, we have Solo Sokoa. So this is an interesting one. My prediction in this is that when Jacob Fatu loses to Ro- Cody Rhodes for um, the Royal Rumble, my prediction is that Solo says, fine, I'll do it myself, and puts himself in the Royal Rumble, goes into the Royal Rumble, and then we need him to eliminate someone that matters storyline-wise, and that is going to be by taking out Jimmy. Jimmy is the one that is going to be gone, and potentially Braun Strowman as well, but Braun's going to actually stay in this one. Um, at number 18, we have Bronson Reed. Now, Bronson Reed's an interesting one because, again, another person that has beef with a lot of people, has beef with some people that have been uh, on here, for example, with Braun Strowman. But Bronson Reed's going to take out Kofi. He's going to be the one to kind of get elimination. But while this is happening, Punk is going to take out Seth freaking Rollins to set up their feud. Kofi gone, Seth Rollins gone. Up next, we have at 19, Kevin Owens. I heal Kevin Owens still. Kevin Owens in the ring. Who could he take out? Who's a big person to take out here? I'm guessing that Drew is going to take out Sheamus. Kevin Owens is probably about to get it. Then Drew gets it. Still solidifying Drew as that heel taking out a former friend of his. Sheamus is gone. Here at number 20 is when we have one of our, again, surprise entrants. This is when 20 and lower is when we start getting to the good stuff. This is when the Royal Rumble starts getting really good. At number 20, Joe Hendry here. I think a lot of people expect this. It would be kind of shocking if it doesn't, in my opinion now. At number 20, we have Joe Hendry. And this is going to be where I have a prediction for potential WrestleMania match. I'm saying Joe Hendry takes out his fellow Scotsman, Drew McIntyre. You couldn't tell me truthfully that a drew mcintyre and joe hendry feud for wrestlemania isn't destined a fellow scotsman joe hendry talking about drew and saying how much he loves him the potential mic work that they could have the fan favor versus a huge heel it's just made in heaven it is just made in heaven here at number 21 we have chad gable Another strong hot take that I have that pretends to uh, be a feud for maybe um, WrestleMania. Chad Gable shows LA Knight he is American made and he is the American symbol of WWE and takes out LA Knight, leading to LA Knight and Chad Gable to WrestleMania. A lot of people don't know what's going to happen with the US title. I am going to go with Chad Gable being on uh, SmackDown to get that US title and takes it at WrestleMania and gets his WrestleMania moment. Um, but we will have to see on that one. But I feel strong about that one. I want that to happen. There's just a lot of things that would have to happen for that. And this is a good way to set it up, in my opinion. Up next, at number 22, we have Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker is going to have an interesting uh, Royal Rumble because he's going to assert his dominance and have a dominant Royal Rumble this year. And he's going to happen by destroying Braun Strowman, which a lot of people have talked about Braun Breaker potentially going against Braun Strowman in a match or something else. This is the one to do it. He, This is where he's going to show that he can take him out. At number 23, we have Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is somebody that I think there's a lot of question marks on with what his potential um, future lies. But for now, nothing too big. At number 24, we have Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross 
I feel like should be in this Royal Rumble. He's another big what if. It was between him and Rey Mysterio. I think Karrion Cross would make it over Rey Mysterio, being so truthful in today's WWE. With Karrion Cross, I, I don't expect him to take out anybody big. I expect him maybe to take out the uh, fan favorite and Joe Hendry to solidify himself as that heel. So Joe Hendry, you're here for a little bit. Joe Hendry leaves. I think that's obviously what's going to probably happen in the actual Royal Rumble. Um, but Karrion Cross is gone. At number 25, we have John Cena. Now, John Cena is an interesting one to me. Because I am saying intern 25 for the 25th year. 2025, the, uh, what's it called? Farewell Tour. I'm expecting John Cena to have a good Royal Rumble as well. Here at 25, he is going to take out two people. He's going to be taking out Dominic Mysterio, one of the biggest heels that I think would get a loud pop. And he's going to take out Chad Gable, another heel that is uh, John Cena kind of showing him that uh, he is what Americans strive to be, which we all know John Cena in America. So Dominic Mysterio gone and Chad Gable gone. Let's go to the next at 26, Randy Orton, which is going to start a interesting kind of thing where Randy looking out, um, nothing happening. And then number 27, Ricky Stark. So Ricky Starks is an interesting one. Of course, an AEW wrestler going over to WWE. I don't know if he's going to be face or heel. He works better as a heel. He works better as a heel. And I don't know if they debut him here. I would assume if he does sign with WWE, this is probably where it happens. Royal Rumble is when you get those big surprise entries. I would assume it's going to happen here. At, and while he is in the ring, he's going to be the one that actually takes out um, Kevin Owens. Because Sammy is going to be taken out by KO to potentially set up a feud with them for WrestleMania. Sammy versus KO. A true babyface with the heel Kevin Owens. But then Ricky Starks takes out KO as well. So we're going to go by Sammy and by Kevin Owens. Up next at number 28, we have main event Jey Uso, who almost wasn't on here, truthfully. But I still think that Jey Uso is such a big star. You have to have him here. So Jey Uso is in the ring. Um, nothing so far yet, really. Um, and this is the biggest surprise, I think, on this list. Out of every single person, I'm saying at number 29, we have Goldberg. WWE said there's future plans for Goldberg. I don't know what those future plans could be. I don't know if he hits the Royal Rumble or if it's just a one-off match. But my prediction is that I expect Goldberg to probably in some shape or form be somewhat involved in this Royal Rumble. If he would be make a perfect person to have a entry in here and really shock the world about this at number 29 Goldberg in the ring obviously if Goldberg he's gonna destroy people Goldberg makes his return for Gunther takes out Karrion Cross and Bronson Reed bye bye Bronson Reed bye bye Karrion Cross and of course at number three we have Roman Reigns if they lose the bloodline the OG bloodline losing Survivor Series I could see a way where Roman Reigns isn't on television until Royal Rumble and this is when he comes back I could also see a way where it's actually they just keep going keep trying to set this up to Royal Rumble either or since Roman is on the poster I don't know but I expect Roman Rum Roman Reigns to be in this Royal Rumble I think that's what's going to happen and if he, he is he is either number one or he is 30 I don't think any in between number is going to be where he's at so now this is where it gets serious. This is where we're in the end game here. And this is our final nine. And what a final nine. Obviously, you have some people that I think you could argue, why are they even here? And that is probably Ricky. Braun Breaker, people might say, but I think he's valid to really help the youth. Solo is somebody people might say. And then maybe Jey Uso, but I'm still high on Jey Uso. So let's start off with Roman comes back to the Royal Rumble and immediately targets Solo and gets him out. Solo, gone. Last entry and it sets up, a, you know, of course, maybe The Rock versus Roman Reigns. Maybe it's Roman Reigns versus Solo. I don't know. I could see it being Roman versus Solo at Elimination Chamber. And then when he can't do it, it is The Rock versus Roman Reigns. That's what the match we get. Um, 
but Roman comes back to the Royal Rumble and immediately targets Solo and gets him out. So our final eight. This is this is the end of end of the video, end of the game. So let's start off. Randy takes out Ricky Starks. I expect Randy to be this kind of heel slash baby face in this match where he's, of course, a baby face, but he's still going to backstab people. So Ricky Starks out of here. Next, we have Breaker gets out Goldberg. Now, that's the thing that I want to see. I want to see Goldberg out because you have to also think Roman has beef with every single person. Bring Goldberg back. Every single person here. CM Punk is the only one. It's like not as much, which is crazy to say that CM Punk's the one person he doesn't have beef with. Every single, every everybody else, yes. Maybe not Braun Breaker, actually. I take that back. Braun Breaker. Um, but Breaker gets out Goldberg, takes a huge elimination, and gets him out, which two people that are almost mirror images of how they uh, have been set up in these past couple of years. Next, we have Jay. Tries to get Breaker, but then Randy is the one to get Jay. Backstabbing Jay Uso, still not forgiving him for, you know, the one to cost his injury, cost him on a lot of things. Another thing that I still believe is going to probably play a factor in a lot of this bloodline imagery that's been going on. Up next, we have everyone goes for Roman Reigns, but Reigns eliminates Punk. So I know I just said that Punk is the only person Reigns doesn't have anything against. I could still see a way that Roman eliminates Punk and starts really, honestly, not destroying people, but could really hurt his friendship with maybe a Punk. And that Roman is still making enemies in today's, you know, WWE. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense. I think everyone would go for Roman in this scenario. But because Roman went for Punk, I'm expecting breaker to be the one to eliminate roman due to bloodline involvement if solo gets out i can see a way where jacob fought to the tongans come and take out and screw over roman reigns and breakers the one to do it to solidify again this is going to be the star moment for breaker to solidify him as that next face is going to be that taking out roman reigns now of course that happens cena then would eliminate breaker and I think could set up a potential IC title match to get John Cena as a Grand Slam champ. Now you have Cena versus Randy in the final, in the finale. I think the noise, the pops, the atmosphere would be amazing with a John Cena versus Randy Orton staring at each other. And then, of course, if one of these, which, let's be honest here, Randy probably doesn't go for Gunther, goes for Cody. John Cena could go for Cody, could also go for Gunther, probably Gunther. No one knows what could happen. Two individuals that could easily win, two individuals that make a lot of sense. I'm saying Cena eliminates Randy. Cena wins the Royal Rumble. But here's the thing. If Cena wins this, I'm expecting him to start, Randy, start to turn to this dark side, saying, I lost to John Cena. I've lost all these matches. I need my championship back, and the only way for me to do this is to break free. I think that's what we're getting, and that's what's going to happen. So, John Cena is our winner of the Royal Rumble. Crazy enough, I do expect it to happen. I really do. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.